So a warm welcome to all of you to another lecture on this course on the simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. We will now commence uh, actually simulation of communication systems. So we have built enough background. Now let us uh, commence the simulation of uh, communication systems in MATLAB or with the simulation of baseband communication. of baseband communications. So one thing that uh, you might wonder is why do we do baseband communications when actually we want to do everything in the passband. So we will answer that question when we start this chapter. So in this chapter we will talk about signal constellations and performance under AWGN. We will talk about fading, we will talk about uh, multi-tap channels, we will talk about equalization, we will talk about MIMO and if time permits, we will also introduce massive MIMO. So actually OFTM and MIMO are ideas from 4G and 5G wireless communications or uh, these are the physical layer aspects of 4G and 5G wireless communication. So we will talk about all of this in whatever time we have with this course. So that said we will talk about signal spaces first. So the first idea that we want to introduce in this chapter is that of signal spaces. I believe you have covered this idea in your digital communications course at some point of time. but uh, Still, just to be on the same page, I will quickly run through the idea of signal spaces. So the key idea behind the signal space is that we can view signals as vectors. Signals as vectors and to illustrate this, so I will add a slide here to detail signal spaces. consider as an example of a signal space or to start this idea of signal spaces consider a periodic signal PT periodic with a period T consider a periodic signal PT with a period T. Now the idea is that a periodic signal PT or the idea behind Fourier series is that we can represent Fourier series is that represent PT as summation p k 2 pi k t by t can represent it like this k goes from minus infinity to infinity and where p k equals 1 over t minus t by 2 to t by 2 pt minus j 2 pi kt by t this and uh, pk is said to be the weight corresponding to the kth uh, harmonic. Now the idea here is that uh, any periodic signal so the idea is that any periodic signal can thus be reduced to a sequence of coefficients. Any periodic signal is reduced to a sequence of coefficients and uh, we have seen while deriving the Fourier series that uh, these it also reduces to a deterministic sequence of coefficients and so we have actually what we have done is we have reduced the space 
and uh, taken it from the space of continuous signals to a sequence which is which if you think is uh, we have basically taken so in deriving the Fourier series of a signal we have taken points from the uncountable domain minus t by 2 to t by 2. So, we have taken points from the uncountable domain minus t by 2 to t by 2 and mapped them we have taken points from the uncountable domain minus t by 2 to t by 2 and mapped them to the domain of integers. So, we have in a way taken an uncountable domain and mapped it to a countable domain that is one thing and for this in doing this we have used the orthogonality of harmonics of the same. In doing this, we have used the orthogonality of harmonics of the same frequency and uh, that is the idea that gives us access to these p k s. Now, let us take this idea a step further and say that let me have a baseband signal. So, x t, so x is a baseband signal, what is a baseband signal etcetera. Right now, you can uh, please uh, you can have my word about what is a baseband signal. Once we are done with signal spaces or once we are done with this idea of signal spaces, then we will touch upon what are baseband and passband signals that uh, will be done in the next lecture or that the baseband and passband lectures will be a part of the next lecture. For now, please assume that there is something called a baseband signal and uh, which is the low pass equivalent of a pass band signal and by x tilde t. So, x tilde t is the low pass equivalent of a pass band signal. If you know these terms well and good, if you do not know these terms, we will define base band and pass band signals and low pass equivalents in the next lecture in detail. So, is given by this. So, this x tilde t, so this is given by x tilde t. Now, x tilde t can take, now x tilde t can take any value because it has a domain t and a codomain. So, x tilde t over all time can take any value that is standard, but let us say that we restrict x tilde t to be a linear combination of the signals given by psi i t i goes from 1 to n. So, the idea is that the idea here is that x t x tilde t is restricted to x tilde t equals summation x k psi k 
t k goes from 1 to n here x 1 to x n are complex valued coefficients and psi k t s form an orthonormal basis of signals. Psi k s form an orthonormal basis of signals. So, we have come across the term orthonormal basis and basis in terms of linear algebra where we have seen the definition of orthogonality. So, what do we mean by these terms? So, what we mean is that signals psi i t and psi j t are said to be orthogonal psi k t. If integral minus infinity to infinity i t psi conjugate signal can be complex valued t d t equals 0. So, this and orthonormality says that t psi i t square d t equals psi d t equals 1 this. So, naturally we can define signals that uh, follow this property and uh, we can define a set of orthonormal signals and uh, we can say that uh, psi t or x t is a linear combination of such signals. It is interesting to note that at this point it is that for a given period do the harmonics the and C form an orthonormal set of signals. You can verify this yourself and the time shifted time shifted Dirac delta this is also form an basis. Time shifted Dirac delta impulses also form an orthonormal basis. So, we have uh, at our hands two fundamental orthonormal bases, but both. So, this is an uncountable basis. the dimension of this basis is uncountable and the dimension of this basis, this is still an infinite dimension basis. So, but uh, while discussing communication systems or uh, while discussing uh, our form of communication systems, we will restrict ourselves, but uh, we will restrict ourselves to finite dimensional 
basis. We will restrict ourselves to finite dimensional basis. So, for example, that is we will limit ourselves to n equals 1 or 2 or something like that. So, x tilde t or x t in general can be seen as we do not actually need uh, complex baseband equivalents and uh, there is a work around, but still. So, x tilde t or x t whatever you want, we will still cover complex baseband equivalents in the next lecture, but uh, we can do without them as well. k goes from 1 to n, x k psi k t. So, now if there exists a basis psi of n signals that can be used to represent m greater than n signals x m goes from 1 to n as x t or x m t equals summation k goes from 1 to n x m k psi k t, then we can represent x m t given the basis we can represent x m t as a vector x m x m 1 2 this I can represent uh, this as a vector and uh, the coefficients of that vector will be or so I can say that each signal. So, here let me add this in black ink. So, can now say that the signals x m t 1 to m span the space defined by the signals psi k t k goes from 1 to m. So, these span the space defined by these signals and they are used to represent uh, this as a vector. So, now with this we are able to define the idea of a signal space in the form that uh, the signal space of a vector or uh, sorry we can therefore represent signals as coefficients. Example because it is important to consider an example. So, consider signal x t corresponding to B P S K modulation or binary phase shift keying modulation such that x t equals a cos 2 pi f c t minus k t t minus k t if our transmitting of 1 and minus a cos 2 pi f c t minus k t during the kth interval. If we are transmitting a 1 during the kth time interval and this 
if we are transmitting a zero during the kth time interval this so now i can say that xt equals ak cos 2 pi fct minus kt simple or xt is summation 2 pi fct minus kt k goes from minus infinity to infinity or k goes from 0 to infinity whichever way you like it so during the kth interval kth interval xt equals ak cos 2 pi fct and letting psi t equals ct kt psi kt equal this i can say that t in kt2 if I define xt and psi kt like this then this and naturally xt equals ak psi kt 0 to infinity and you can check that this definition of psi kt these are orthogonal in time and as well as these will be orthogonal for frequencies naturally there is much more to signal spaces than can be covered in a short lecture but uh, this is the basic introduction for signal spaces we will continue to use these as ideas and develop the, the idea of signal spaces as we proceed and in the next lecture we will talk about baseband and passband signals which possibly should bring some more, more clarity to the idea of signal spaces so with that we end this lecture thank you mm -hmm.